Gary, many congratulations. Thank you, Off and running here at the Betfred World Match Play. Wasn't a classic. How would you sum it up? Uh, no, definitely wasn't. I'd, I could use a few words. <laughs> but definitely wasn't a classic. But uh, no, I'd just say, you know, even 140s, 140s, we should be on 10, 15, 140s through that game. I think I had about four. You know, it was no scoring game wasn't there. You know, it was it was scrappy. This was billed as the tie of the round. Did you feel that extra well, pressure? People talking yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, that's what they were saying. I went, God, have you seen me play lately? You know, it's uh, it's nah, it's just one of the things, Chizzy. I mean, I'm I'm got for Chizzy as well because I know how I've, I'm a big fan of Chizzy. And he's he's it's, it's like I say, it's not just been one or two years. He's been good. He's decades. You know, since uh, the world's at the lakeside, he's he's a classy player, and he should have a hell of a lot of TV titles behind his name. You come here smiling and enjoying darts for the first time in a long time, and I think it was your word. I mean, enjoying annoying people again. Well, you know me. I, I like <laughs> a wind up. You know, people call me this and come out. I love a wind up. If I can wind somebody up and they bite, I'm gonna keep going. I'm it's, it's that thing. No, it's just a few of my mates say that's you, Gary. You're done. What you gonna do now that you're retired? You're not in this. You're not in that. And is that right? Yeah. Okay. Right, but I've, I've nicked this one, you know, I've, I've got into the match play, I, w I don't think I was close at the start of the season, at the start of the year, so yeah, yeah, pat on the back for getting here. But I know you do like, pat on the back, just getting here is not enough, is it? Now you've got to kick on, you've won a Pro Tour this year, you've got to a TV final at the World Cup, is now the next step winning one of these big ones again? It would be nice, <laughs> it's been a while, but nah, listen, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to count the chickens, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get a bit, of, I'm enjoying what I'm doing just now, you know, there's no pressure on me whatsoever and if I can turn up and just play darts if I can play good darts how I used to play I'll be over the moon Gary pleasure as always Gary so you say <laughs> in terms of motivation we know you like to try and find things to motivate yourself what are you finding for your motivation in this tournament right here's one for you if I win Blackpool if I win this match play right on the night that I win it he's all run about that stage with a pair of yellow thongs on is that a deal if I win no, it that is not a deal it's not a deal. Well, I see. Now you've just spoiled for me. You know, it'll be side bet. Maybe Dan might do it. Dan? <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway, really, when I'm. Oh, all right, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you would, but I could see Phil in a. But <laughs> yeah, if I win it, would you? Would you like? It gives me a wee incentive, you know? Don't bother buying me a car or that. I'd rather see you run about with well, either a kilt on or something like that. <laughs> but uh, nah, it's, it's just little things, you know? People say, nah, you're done, you're past, but. When they say it kind of, it gets them a goat a bit and I, I try to push it a bit more. You've talked about the practice you've been putting in with Ryan and how that's improved this year. Was there disappointment that you weren't able to bring that game out on stage? No, because the last time I threw that was the World Cup. So I've had a few weeks off without throwing a dart. I've done an exhibition on Friday and then I've done Monday, Tuesday at Leicester. And that's been it since the World Cup. So that's not a lot of darts been thrown since then. Up to then, I was playing well. But, uh, you know, I'm allowed a holiday. So there's a lot of the DAP players allowed a holiday. <laughs> Gary, you've been coming here since 2009. If I knew you always get great support, is it still a special feeling coming back to the Winter Gardens? Yeah, it's the first weekend because it's usually the Scottish holidays, you know, <laughs> so we're all right. The second match is usually different because they've all went home. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 yeah, Blackpool. It's definitely not Vegas. I love Vegas, but <laughs> it, uh, no, it, it's good, you know. And like I say, this is the first time I've been here without the missus and the kids for a long time. You know, the wee man finishes school on Wednesday and uh, that's his, his last day before he goes up to middle school. And uh, yeah, so if it doesn't work out, hopefully I can get back up and see him uh, finish his last year at school. First time on seeded here for a long time. Is that a different feeling running into someone like Dave in the first round? I think it actually works in your favour. You know, there's many a time you ask any seeded player that they're playing like Gavin Price playing Stephen Bunton, we know how Stephen can play. You know, Rob Cross, Darrell Gurney, it's, I think the see the players got a bit more pressure. You know, they're like, oh, I can't get beat with him because he's, he's not even in the top 16. And it's, uh, it takes the pressure off you a wee bit, so, yeah. Darrell Gurney up next, he said earlier on after his win that perhaps you don't like playing him up on that stage on the Winter Gardens, what would you say to that? I don't like playing him or he doesn't like him. That you don't potentially like playing him on that stage? Oh, we'll see on Tuesday night then. Chance for a bit of revenge for last year. See, it's all, all the night. I'll speak to you after the match. <laughs> after that, that seems like maybe a little fire underneath your belt now, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's a Blackpool accent, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that from? That's uh, 
American accent. No, I was, was going to see your potion from Canada. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But, 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 yeah, listen, it's, Darts has got to a stage now that anyone can win anything, and that's the way it goes. You know, many years ago we had Phil Taylor dominated for donkeys, then uh, Michael Van Gerwen, he ruled it for the next eight years. You know, Michael won the World Championship and went straight to number one. I won it back to back and got beat in the next final and I still never got enough money to pass Phil Taylor. That's how far that man was in front of us. You know what I mean? So I won two back to back and then picked up the runner up prize. Still never got close to Taylor. So that's, that was the difference back then. You know, Taylor was that far in front of everybody. You know, just like what Michael used to be four or five years ago. You could probably win three world titles and still be behind him. That's how far in front he was. So, yeah, it's definitely getting harder. A little bit uh, different weather-wise up there. Cooler this year, huh? Oh, it's lovely. Lovely, I bet. Lovely. I've not seen rain in Blackpool for at least three years. It used to just piss down constantly, <laughs> but, uh, but it's been, the last few years it's been an absolute sweat box, you know, but uh, it's nice to play up there and a bit cool. It's warm on the stage, practice room, nice and cool. So a little bit of rest before Daryl, is that just being relaxed going up there? Yeah, I'm going to try getting a bit of fishing on. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for your time. I just one quick one from me, Gary. Um, You're right, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know that uh, you've obviously David the seed this time round, but you've got a pretty good record against him compared to, I think you've won eight of the last ten before today. Did any of that feed in? And obviously he's not got as much TV and no, major winning no, experience. I've, I've got some records I've got against players that are fantastic, but you've, they're going to beat you one day. You know, It would be nice to go through your life just not losing to him, but one day they'll... Uh, They'll catch you out, you know. Andy Smith, the pie man that used to play darts, I could not beat him for the love of bloody money. Didn't no matter how well I played, how rubbish I played, he always beat me. And I, I'm not coming cheap, but he used to kill me. He used to do me right in. But uh, no, you get players that you you struggle against. But listen, nowadays you just play the board and hopefully you can get over that winning line. Brilliant, thank you. Well done.